Say it again. She said, see you, see you in, she said, see you. And then she said, see you in the Northern Territory. She called me see you in the Northern Territory. So see you NT. How rude, how rude. It's been Australia too long. She was in Australia too long, mate. She's been corrupted by Australia. So we use the C-U-N-T word a fair bit in Australia. So yeah, the Americans, the Democrats getting hurt. We don't use that word. We're happy. Listen, we're happy. We're happy. We're happy to have as many abortions as you like, but don't use see the word C-U-N-T. Okay? That's what being a Democrat is. So everyone's getting butt hurt. Though I'm a bit short with Jessica, but look, Jessica's driving standards and my driving standards are different and I need her to adhere to my driving standards. And that's why I don't drive, because she goes off, oh, blah, 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 she gets mad at me, like, you drive like an old lady, you drive like an old lady. Uh, whereas the stuff she does is just, I mean, she can't, if she comes to my country, people will be so mad at her, right? So I think, because she's come to Australia, she might as well drive like she's in Australia, you know? Like, not always take so many risks, you know what I mean? Jessica's never been in a really bad accident, like a car ride off. So she's a bit more gun ho than she'd be if she'd been in a bad accident, you know? But like those car ride offs can leave you dead, mate. Like, anyway, I just, I do wish you a bit more conservative love when you drive. It would take a lot of confrontation out of our relationship. Really? Yeah, for sure, mate. Is that really don't like the previous confrontation my driving? That's... No, no, not all of it, but like, you're a bit mouthy as well. This guy said, this guy said, mate, she's mouthy like a Western girl, bro. That's what this guy said, right, love, right? I'm mouthy, just because I get Well, out. you know, because I said to you, oh, Jessica, that's a blind corner. I said, that's a blind corner, right? No, but the thing is- And you is said, I'm you're not my driving instructor. No, but the thing is, I can, I'm driving, Ian, right? Mm. Your view there and my view here is different. No, it's not. Like the other day, you said to me, oh, you're gonna fall off the, di the, the thing, the corner. And I have those little mirror just for those corners on the very it's bottom. It's not that, Jessica. Where you can't Jessica, see. when you when you add speed I around mean, a corner that has a, a crevice I in it, wasn't you can tip the car. Car. You can tip I the car. I understand that, but I have enough space for me to go through it, and then you don't believe me. Yeah, you know, look, Jessica, just because you didn't tip it doesn't mean you should push things. You don't want to push things to, like, say there's a, a say there's, say there's, there's one to ten, right? Ten is you pushing all the way. You want to only go to three or four, mate. You don't want to even go to five, you know? I only do things that I know I won't be um, in trouble. You know, like yeah, that. but it's not just you. Sometimes you get other people in trouble, you know? Like, sometimes cars. Like that, when I said, I just stopped Jessica, don't try and go past this guy. And you tried to go past each other, and he went up He went up in a ditch, Jessica, right? Is so it's a two lane road. Ian. I get it, Jessica, but you I said to you, I said to you, stop, do not try and pass him. Wait I didn't for him to pass, pass you. Him, Ian. We were, we were two driving, even stopped in the middle. He wound up in a ditch, bro. Yeah, that was his fault. He was, a, he was Yeah, but I'm driving. saying, look, I'm saying. How, didn't, how, how, how I didn't now wind up love, in the ditch? Love. I, I like him. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. I'm saying, if you had just waited, just been patient, right? And just gone, let him go first. Give him, if we're not in a rush, not let, fault, let him go it's first. Just, it's not a case of your fault, love. He's the one um, the, um, Look, love, it's not a case of your fault. Sometimes it's better oh, to not, to blame but sometimes it's better to not rush. Everything on me. Jessica, sometimes it's better to not rush, so okay? I'm not rushing. Sometimes it's better to take it's your time. It's let someone, road. let someone go, Jessica. Let them come. I understand. Oh, well, Jessica. Jessica. Well, he well. Went all the way too much. Well, he didn't, he got two of you can fit. Wrong. One of you wound up in a ditch, yeah, Jessica. It's his fault. But he, did I not say to you? Je it wrong. Did I, listen, did I not say to you, Jessica? Don't go. There's hardly any room. I didn't go. I was where I stopped in the middle mm -hmm. when we were getting close to each other. No, but I didn't because want you I was going in there. afraid that I was gonna fall off the ditch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but why I said, "Can you please watch?" The thing me? is, you've got to be afraid for him as well. Like it's about both of you. You, you've got to be utilitarian, right? Think of the greater good of you both, not just the greater good of you, right? You can't think of the greater good of you. Just, you, think of, you think of the greater good of you both. That's what utilitarianism is, love. You understand? Know Are you rolling your eyes at me, Jessica? She always blame me. Well, I just think it's you... because someone drove up the ditch, it was my fault. Oh, because so I, I said to you, I said, stop. if you like, watch the footage, what do you mean? It's a two lane road. Yeah, yeah, but if you watch footage, I said, don't go down that lane. Let him come I first. I stopped in the middle when I was no, passing I understand. him. I was so okay. slow because I was no, afraid I understand, but I'm going to fall you know, off the you know, ditch as well. Okay, but listen, if I you... Was my okay. fault. It was the one controlling the wheel. If you not had me. not gone, no one would have wound up in a ditch. Oh, if you or him had not gone, one of you, you said, okay, that's probably... just going to stay in the middle. We're just going to stay there. No, you're going to stay on the side and let him pass. Mm -hmm. 
Just stay still. No try. Guys, I was so slow, Ian. I wasn't like going. Because I was like saying that. you're gonna wind but up in the ditch, mate. You didn't. No, he you he didn't have a Westerner ring. in the car telling him, ring. so he, he wound up in the ditch, mate. I told you to watch me. I said, Ian, I was slow. I said, I am afraid to go in the ditch because the ditch is too like deep, right? And yeah. I said, Ian, watch me, and I can see. I have my. Small I mean, it's crazy. There. This this is a I massive, have my small mirror. like I a massive see. ditch, and there's no protection, right? So this guy tipped into the ditch. I mean. The That's Bronga. what my, my small mirror is for. The Bronga Council should have done something. I Crazy. I didn't put those small mirrors for nothing. It's not for display. It's for you to see the the, uh, the bottom of your car. Oh, the bottom of your car. It's not my fault okay. you wind up in the ditch. I'm right? just saying one, listen. The, so, so Philippines was colonized, right? You did. And the girls have a rebellious no, streak in them. Yeah, no, no, listen. I, I was told this. Like my friend, he married a Filipina. He said, I need to let you know, right? No, Filipina was colonized, you, and these girls are super rebellious, you. mate. They're super rebellious, blame. right? I wouldn't let you blame me. I, will, I wouldn't take the see, blame. Why would I take the blame? It wasn't see, my fault. In see, it's a two lane road. Do you, okay, so Jessica's a typical Filipina. I'm talking about just safety. Just, just, just erring on the side of caution, and she's saying using language like "you're." No, I'm, no, I'm taking the blame, no, right? Because that's what you're doing. No, Ian, even no, if, I'm saying even just if I stopped there and you still went all the way too much on the on the left where the ditch is, he's still gonna fall. That, it's, what, it's his skills. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Jessica needs to err on the side of caution, right? Not be so gun ho when she's driving, Not right? Gun -ho. Oh, I do things when so, I'm sure of. Yeah, I mean, the, the car looks like it's just completely the Grand yeah, Theft Auto mission, Was it mate. me? Was it my fault? That those, one was. I told fish? you. I told you. Those, what, what was? I told you. What was? When we were well, what it's was? on film, yeah, mate. One, one time. I'm Ian, saying, don't go. I'm saying, don't go. You're going to hit the wall. Yeah, and you went. Yeah, one time. And then you talk about all the, the things in the car was my fault. You knew it's not. No. I, and then you talk like it was mine. Well, all unlicensed drivers. Uh, sure. No one with a license has ever put a dick in this once. car. I did it once. I did it once. I think my car once. Mm. And you say, oh, look at your car. It's like it's been a Grand Theft Auto, man. Yeah, it's, it's my fault. <laughs> I say it's like spinning a mission in Grand Theft Auto. You stop criticizing me all the time. I'm not. I, I'm just giving you, you feedback. Me so I'm just much, giving you, you feedback. You should take the wheel from me. I can't because you because you, you just nag. It was because you nag you all the time. Take the wheel. You say oh, you drive like an old lady. You blah 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 blah. She takes so many wrong turns, Ian. Okay, right. Every but time we drive, we take three wrong turns oh, or more. It's because I'm used to driving on this side, mate. I understand. Australians that, drive on the other then side. Then they tell you what to do. You look. Don't tell me what to do. I know what Let's I'm doing. Let's just I've been driving for. Uh, I understand that, but then when I've been I driving for nearly 29 years. I You've been driving for less than a year. You don't think I'm a better driver than you are? When you direct, I direct you. You get mad at me. Okay. You go, I don't know. I Jessica, know what to do. Jessica, I've been driving for 29 years. You've been driving for less than one year, right? Why are you bringing that up? Who do you think is a better driver? Why are you bringing that up? But you see, this is the thing. Je you can't reason with Filipinos, mate. No. You can't reason with them. No. They say, why are you bringing that up? They're getting conversation. I'm bringing it up because it's relevant to the conversation. It's not. I've been it's driving not. for 29 years. You've been driving for less than a year. I was talking about when you were driving, I'm trying to direct you, get upset on me. It's not about the skills of driving, Ian. That's what I'm talking about. And then you're bringing up your years of driving. I wasn't talking about, I wasn't talking about of experience. I was talking about why do you get upset when I try? I get upset because you you're too gun-ho, Jessica. I'm not gun-ho. I feel like you're too gun-ho. I was talking about driving in. I was talking about when you're driving. Well, what about when you cut cut across lanes to, to get a dessert? You cut across lanes yeah, to get... absolutely. People do that in the Philippines. I'm the only one who does that. Do you think I'm going to do that in Australia or any other country? I do that because they allow it here. I know it's an unsafe or... It's well, not, they allow you to they anything. allow you to cut across double lanes. Well, do, 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 double me. double um do, double uh double lines. So you cut across double I lines. I know, but it's it's different. Driving here is a bit different than your country. There's no camera. There's no speed limit. Blah blah blah. Oh, and stuff like that. But that doesn't mean you should and act. You want me to act like I, I drive in your country, but sometimes it's just hard. Like people, but when you're driving, right? You want to go ahead they won't let you go ahead if you don't put your nose there they won't let you go you you stay there for an hour waiting like but jessica drives in a predatory manner like she'll she'll put her nose out and some poor yes, trike has to stop her hit a car because she's a bigger car than when everyone did, else when did that happen well, did that ever happen? Uh, it doesn't you do it all the time you put your nose out and then uh, like some trike driver has to stop because he knows he's going to come out and i do worse. the same for everyone okay. when they put their nose out i let them go 
You're a saint, Jessica. What's the matter here? You're a saint, Mine Jessica. Driving can I borrow your phone? No, I've got, can I borrow the spotlight man. on your phone, love? Can I borrow the spotlight on your phone? See, they, I'm just trying to talk to her and tell her to be a bit safer. You're not trying to talk to me. Oh, no, I am. I am. I'm not criticizing. You have a good, um, I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying, content. say, be safe. Be good, safer. Good yeah. See, not good content. Good A content. There you go. Mate, is it so bad to drive a bit more conservatively? Is it so bad? And it's the thing. We talk to Filipino. You say, need you drive a bit more conservatively. Oh, you're attacking me. You're attacking me. Whatever you say to a Filipino, they always find a way to turn around. Then I've been told this many times. I didn't understand it. I was like, human beings don't really behave that way, right? Like, um... Hello, mate. Yeah, so, so, that's the story, buddy. That's the story. So, so, Filipinas are like, oh, you're attacking me, you're attacking me. That's how they are, mate. That's how they are. They're like, oh, you're attacking me, you're attacking me. You try and get your point across, and they, they love fallacies, mate. Filipinas love fallacies, mate. They love, oh, you said this, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna attack you on this, you know, like, anyway. It is what it is. Then when I drive, mate, she gets choppy. Look, I was taught in Australia, you go in your 100% sure. Not 5%, not 10%. You go in your 100% sure. But if you're not 100% sure, you don't go. People wait. You know, if you're in the middle of the road and you're waiting uh, to turn, people can wait until you're 100% sure to turn across another lane. That's what I've been taught in Australia, right? That's how we drive in Australia. So that, that drops just scraps. That's why I don't drive, because she gets, she gets pissy when I don't take stupid risks, you know? She says, oh, you drive like an old lady. Mate, I'm safe, man. I haven't crashed the car. How small these bottles of soda are. That's insane how small. Hello, pretty girl. Look what I got, lovey. Look what I got. The guy said that I should have asked him for a photo. I think he was talking about you. Yeah. Anything else? Pants on or off photo? Maybe pants off. Oh, love, I really want to try Pinoy Cola. Can we try that? Sure, ah, not really, man. Not really. I can't think of anything worse. I'd have needles in my eyes if I drank Pinoy Cola, mate. I drink Coca Cola, bro. Oh, zero sugar Pinoy Cola. Whoa. That's that's a double puke. Don't, they have, uh, this is the, um, the, what do you call it? This is the zero sugar. I'll try that. I'll try those. Yeah, sugar, lemon lime. Lemon lime. I don't know, bro. It's Coca Cola. I'm a bit. I feel a bit snobby. I don't even drink no sugar Coca Cola. What about this Pinoy Fave? No sugar. No sugar. No, I don't know. Well, that's world. Is it no sugar? So, bro, I'm full diabetic when I drink sugar. I'm going to hyperglycemic shock, so I can't drink sugar. So that's why I'm drinking Gatorade all day, but it's sugar free. So I'm a mess, bro. After that chemo, bloody diabetes. I have to tell, they cut out my stomach, so I'm bloody having electrolytes all day to not faint. I feel faint in jujitsu, but I can get a couple of rolls in. I just can't. I can't always finish the full class. But I'm hoping when I lose weight, I'll get back to a better shape. But yeah, so I'm a bit of a bloody mess, mate. You know, I still lift pretty heavy, but yeah, it's a bit of a mess. I guess this is a tight unboxing, okay? Yeah. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, we should do it this way. What a so freaking spaz! Oh my god! So, right. mm -hmm. let me try this straw, the straw, the the, mm -hmm. the the um strawberry. Relax. Oh my god, she's so strange. Is it purple? I like it. Let me tell the strawberry love. Is this raspberry? Yeah, the first bite. Oh, raspberry, sorry. Yeah, the first bite. Right here, here. Ooh, mm. there's cream in it as well. Strawberry. Strawberry, bro. Right. That's so good. Oh, wow. Mm. So good. I think I like this mouth. Mm. Thank you. Oh, yum. Mm. What one's up? Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. What's this? It's yummy. Mmm, it's good. Cool. It's pineapple. It's a dollar each. A dollar each. Mm. Mm. I'm going to try pineapple. Mm. Yum. Yeah. Here's a little. 
This is egg. Egg tart. Come on, egg tart. It's a brokey ass, bro. Mmm. Egg tart, bro. We've never had that before. Blueberry. Mmm. Hey, so. You know that, baby? You know that, baby? What are you, some banana? You know that, baby? What's this? What's that? Coconut. Okay. Mmm. Good. Coconut. Mmm. Which one's your favorite? Mine would be this one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So I put all these videos up, me and Jessica were fighting, like we had a massive fight, right? And it was one day, it was one day, we had this huge argument over one day, right? But it was like three, four videos, I cut them up, so it looks like we were arguing every day, but it's only one day, we had this huge day, we just had, had a fight. Jessica felt I was being disrespectful to people who back you out, and it just escalated, mate, it just escalated, she started talking smack about Australia, and it kind of escalated, right? Anyway, so uh, it's funny, because people are really mad at me, and some people are really mad at Jessica, so people have kind of taken sides uh, through these videos I put up where we were really arguing, but I thought it'd be good to put up, like, just to see how it goes. Filipino is quite sensitive, um, so I thought it'd be good for you to see how, how, kind of, when we do argue, what kind of thing we argue about. So I was kind of glad I got to put those videos up. Uh, this is Lipper City, so uh, I'm not sure where we're going to park if I, if I go to this jiu-jitsu gym. Just you got to come in with me, otherwise I'll wind up paying 10,000 pesos, mate. Like, I just, you know, I always like just get to negotiate when it's with Filipinos. I don't negotiate myself. Can you come in and negotiate with me, love or not? Yeah, okay, we can probably park, well. probably park. So this is the, so in Philippines, right? In Philippines, the whole town is built around the Catholic Church, right? And I, I tease the Filipinos, I say, listen, the, you got colonized by the Spanish, they killed heaps of Filipinos and you took their religion, you know? Um, some guy in the comments was going, oh, Australians are all assholes, I love the Americans. I was like, America colonized you, bro. They killed a heap of you. Like, and they bought the Philippines from Spain, right? So, I mean, yeah, America is your ally and you've got an issue with China, but at the end of the day, mate, you, uh, you know, you were colonized by both of them, right? They're your, they're your colonizers, you know? So, don't get too, don't get too sweet with them. Look, we love America. You know, they, you know they say, we were, we were 300 years in, uh, in the convent with the Spanish, and then we were 50 years in Hollywood. We were 50 years in Hollywood with the Americans. That's what they say. That's what I like to say. Check it out, this is, uh, this is the Philippines, bro. But if I do do jiu-jitsu here, you, one thing about jiu-jitsu is you just tend to make some really good friends, because you're rolling, you're the same kind of people, you know, like, so it's, 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 yeah, it's good, like, uh, it's really good. Check it out, here we are. Jolly bee. What happened? So what happened, Jessica? Why were you so, so long? one of this, uh, Regal, Regal car blocked uh, my car and the other guy's car. It was so pissed off. And I have no option but to go all the way up to the bushes, like tall bushes. And I was like, am I not gonna get nailed there? And he was like, yeah, it's okay, mom, we'll check everything. Well, I'll check it out, it's got the umbrella, bro. Umbrella, mask, nothing says alpha like an umbrella and a mask, mate. So, yeah, this is our day. Ian's food, literally. It's just, it's just cheese, pasta, it's drinks. That's all. It's all Ian. Yeah, so I had because everything is Ian's food. Because I cut out my stomach, right? They cut all my intestines out. So when I eat, it just goes straight through. So, so what happens when you eat? It becomes water, and then it becomes poop, right? When I eat, it becomes water and goes straight through. So I'm always deficient in electrolytes. So I can only train till my electrolytes are down. So what I do is I drink electrolytes all day. Like these massive things, Gatorade, sugar-free. Just knocking the like not very many calories, knocking out Gatorade all day, so I can train because I need electrolytes. So that's kind of what we're doing. But I did not do a good job at the gym, bro. We've got to go back to the gym tonight, love. 
Oh, I'll do some Ben O'Rourke. I still have to do some work, love. It's been. Yeah, yeah, I'll go do work as what well. What time is it? I haven't done any work yet. Well, love, we walked into the shopping centre. We walked into the supermarket at 12 and we walked out at about 2. We're two hours in the supermarket. Yeah. We can't do yeah, that that's anymore, why I have man. To do that supermarket is like. That's insane, love. That's insane. Welcome to the Philippines, mate. Isn't there like online where you just order your food online? Someone delivers it, like Coles? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We should just do that, mate. We should just do that. What's that? You usually give your food and expose it to you. Bloody days. Oh, so scammy, bro. Philippines so scammy, shit like that. <laughs> they give you the food that's expiring. That's hilarious. Of course they do. So she goes and she chooses the good food that's not expiring. There you go. Are there pools in these resorts or not? No, it's not a resort, it's a, um, it's a subdivision. That's where Uma lives. There. Uma. Yeah. You know, one other thing, there's no PlayStation Network here, so if you have PlayStation Plus, you can't play online PlayStation games. It's a bit of annoying, but anyway. Okay. No, yeah, you can't. know these houses, they cost like two million because they're on the side of the road and they it's so small and ugly. It's so ugly. Yeah. And it's just like a cement that they put together. It's not yeah, really. Yeah, it's not a pay to, yeah. It's not, it's not $2 million, it's $2 million pesos, man. It's not a lot of money, trust me. Yeah, but $2 million, the is a lot of money. It's probably, what, what's that, it's 15, 20 a grand? Whole, a whole house. Yeah. yeah. So we're just picking up some water in Dali. This is Dali here. So this is Dali. And then uh, there's a couple of jiu-jitsu schools that opposite each other. One is only trains on the weekends and it does an open roll on Wednesday and it's got a taekwondo school and a kickboxing school. The other one's a kickboxing school and a, and a, um, a jiu-jitsu school. I think it trains jiu-jitsu every night. I think they have purple belts, so I think they might have a hard time in me because although I'm only a blue belt, I have done like, a, I've done like you know, 15 years or 20 years of wrestling or something crazy. So the wrestling makes it hard for the jiu-jitsu guys to handle me. Um, an SI pull guard, in which case, you know, but my guard's getting better. Look, when I had a kid, I started using my guard a lot. That's when you, you fight with someone between your legs. So my guard's a lot better since I had a child. Um, but yeah, what's up? What happened? I don't have water. Oh, is that water right there, love? Is that water? No, it's not. I don't know. Okay, so we're just getting some water. Yeah, we're going to go check out the Jiu Jitsu schools and um, hopefully, yeah. Look, today though, it's not, I've got all these John Danaher instructionals. Um, so today I just need someone to train with, whether it's a good school or a bad school. Some Jiu Jitsu is better than no Jiu Jitsu. So if it's a bad school and everyone is not very good, it actually help me to get better because sometimes when you're training with really, really good guys, it's hard to get better because all you're trying to do is just survive and you can't really try things out. You can't develop new techniques. But when you train with people who are worse than you, it's actually quite easy to get better. It's quite easy to get better. You get to try like things that you never pull off. Like my triangle's not good. Like my armbar's not great, mate. My armbar's not great. My armbar from the bottom's not too bad, but my armbar from full mount, I'm just so big, so heavy. I'm more like Kimuras and chokes, but I've, I've used armbar. Like, look, if I fight a Samoan, I, I fought the Samoan bouncer once, and I got him in an armbar from the bottom. But I didn't, when I say fought, I mean I wrestled him, right? I got him in an armbar from the bottom. So if it's a bigger guy, but if it's a, it's a smaller guy, it's a bit harder to armbar them, unless I'm on top of them, right? But the thing is with an armbar, I don't know if you know about fighting, but when you're on top of someone, you do an armbar, you give up position. Like it's really hard to, you kind of pin yourself to a degree, and a lot of the times they'll come up and get on top of you. So you've got to be really confident with your armbar to pull armbars, which I, yeah, so I just really, just because I was a bouncer, I prefer Kimuras and, and, um, and uh, like head and arm chokes and stuff like that. But, and I don't like taking the back either. Like on the door in a street fight, I do not like taking the back. I don't want to have anyone mounted on me. Even if I'm on their back and they're on top of me, I just don't like the back in a street. Uh, I, look, you know, if I have to go to mount, I'll go to mount or side mount, but uh, in the street, I don't want to be, uh, to tell you the truth, in the street, I don't want to be on the ground at all. In the street, I don't want to be on the ground at all. But, you know, the art of jiu-jitsu is a lot of fun, so. There you go, this is Jessica's hood. Right, Jess, how are you, lovey? This is young Jessica, how are you, Jess, mate? Well, we were just watching Sharks Under Paris, 
Um, yeah, we're looking for a place to park, mate. So the MMA gym's up here, right, love? Is it, this is the MMA gym, is it? Oh, it's not here, though. Okay, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can't find a park, and Jessica's saying that these guys will clamp the car. If we park on the side, these guys will clamp the car. So I might, look, my car's not still 100%, so I might just, um, I'm not sure what to do to tell you the truth. Like, I just not. Uh, I've got to figure out where to park, or just has to wait. Like, I mean, in the morning there's parking, right? The cathedral is open. But yeah, right. At this time, parking yeah. there's only ten pesos. Oh, so you're allowed to park at the cathedral? Yeah, during the morning. To what open. time? Um, I think it's up to seven p.m. Why don't you email, uh, message the jiu-jitsu school and ask them where where everyone parks? Because yeah. they'd have to know where to park. Yeah, I can call. That's the thing, if you set up a jiu-jitsu school in Australia with no parking, no one's going to go, right? But here in the Philippines, I don't know how people are getting the jiu-jitsu and not, not parking. commute. They commute to jiu-jitsu. That's hard though, you got to carry a gi and, man, you got a stinky gi, you got to commute back. Who's commuting to jiu-jitsu, bro? I just, I mean... I'm a, I know this is a first world problem, but who's commuting to jiu-jitsu, bro? Like, it stinks so bad after jiu-jitsu as well, man. Like, you're commuting or you're getting a trichome off jiu-jitsu. Like, oof. Anyway. So this is Dali. It's like a super cheap store, right? There's no one. Check out this massive full of alcohol. 450 pesos, it's under 20 bucks. I've been on a bit of a junk, no training binge since I hurt my calf. But uh, I haven't put any weight on, but yeah, it hasn't been good, but it's been fun. It's been like hanging out, not going to the gym. Um, so it's been nine days since I tore my calf and I've got my acupuncture needles. I ordered acupuncture needles from China, believe it or not. So it came today. So this will really go real quick now. Stick some acupuncture and I'll show you. I'll show you the acupuncture. I'll show you what happens with the acupuncture. Korean beef spicy noodles. I'll try these Korean beef spicy noodles, love. I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's try a couple packs. This one? Yeah, I'll try it, love. I'll try two. it. Try two. Yeah, I'm not even one. Why do you think it's a bloody prison camp? What's this blue thing, love? Oh, fabric. Yeah, this place is so cheap, bro. So cheap. And I've got a different singlet on. The 10XL. This is a 10XL singlet. Swiss roll. It's like a pink uh, cake. Oh, we're getting fudgy bars. This one, okay, and then so this is better though. How's that better, mate? This one's white chocolate and... and oh, I'll try it, let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. Get the one on top in. Oh, let's try it. What's it for? If you touch it, I'll get this. What's it for? Are you saying I'm a grub? This is hazel. Love, what about this? Hazel cream with milk and cocoa. What about this, love? Oh, this is good. My mom always buys this. But this is a better brand. Oh, that one looks better. Same. Yeah, same. Same, same. Anything else? No. Nope. Oh, this is obviously, this is called Barbell Nomad. This is not a workout channel, obviously. We're buying all this chocolate. We'll change our, our name to, way. yeah, Fat Boy Nomad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, guys, please subscribe, share if you like and hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs and see you in the next one bye oh don't subscribe i can really care less